Hey, you're live? I'm live, okay. Hello! <laughs> so, you've been the master of ceremony for this um, Phuket Blues International Festival. That's right. And uh, your name is Ricky Zen. Ricky Zen Lezenko. Makes it easy to call me Zen, trust yeah. me. What do you do? What do I do? Yeah. I do a little bit of everything in entertainment. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, I do anything from versatile impressions, vocal, uh, singing, and MC work. Kind of always important to keep the thing going, keep the party going. So how did you get involved in this gig? Well, I've been touring for the past year doing uh, Tsunami Live 8 concerts since the tsunami struck. I went to Las Vegas for an honorary uh, participation about doing a, a network. We were in a network of producing Live Aid concerts around the world with Las Vegas Entertainment, meaning Impressionists and also other entertainers. And I was involved in that. I went there directly to do that and then Katrina hit. So immediately I got involved in that. And I've finally, been working on, on uh, Tsunami and Katrina too. I'll tell you all about it later. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I, it, first, of course, being involved in Tsunami, actually walking down to a boat and being called back to run from a wave, I thought I had a second chance. So then I decided from that second chance, one year until the Tsunami anniversary, coming up very soon, I decided that uh, no better time to really dedicate your life to something more worthwhile, such a cause. And I, I've been really, it's been something that meant a lot to me, it still means a lot to me. And then Katrina hit, so I thought, I've learned a lot, let's start incorporating that knowledge and that, and that enthusiasm into that. So we've done quite a bit for Katrina in Jamaica, California. What happened? I mean, what did you do for Katrina? Well, the thing is, what I do is I produce, like, uh, small parts of concerts, so I try to get people enthused to say, hey, listen, you know, we've all got a second chance here, let's give what we can, let's do what we can for these people less fortunate and that have been through such a nightmare. And uh, in the Katrina event, I took Las Vegas entertainers, impressionists, people that did, uh, we had a Dolly Parton, we had a, uh, oh, we had Britney Spears, we had a Kramer, we had all kinds of crazy people just give their hearts and souls to come together and make a small uh, concert or show to raise money. We raised 175,000 U.S. dollars alone in the And what did you do with the money? We, we, that Red Cross was there to collect. I make sure everything I do goes to Red Cross or a real major um, person that's involved in uh, collecting money. It's I tell you why. Important. I mean, this is because I've been involved in uh, the other side of the aid where uh, we get information and involvement from people who, who do not get, for some reason, they don't manage to get involved with the large uh, aid right. company. And we have had the impression that we know that the Red Cross are amazing and they do a lot of things, but there are a lot of people who need immediate help and they never get the Red Cross money. So I wonder, you know, I wonder if, have you ever considered getting involved in smaller uh, charities? Actually I have. I worked with the uh, Baton Rotary and we've done um, uh, things for Al Koi. I worked with the, I did a Live Aid concert in Kosamui. And uh, we did it, uh, we raised, oh, quite a, quite a bit, and that money went directly to the smaller villages. I mean, literally, I was there to help. Uh, we were building uh, long tail boats. We were helping put together the small Where? villages. Um, this was in Alcoy and other parts of Panga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the small villages. And, and the same uh, is happening in Katrina, apparently. There is a lot, I have some contacts there, and there is a lot of problems with the rebuilding, a lot of bureaucracy. Oh, and some, always. Yeah, and some people feel that the large charities cannot, they're tied in in the system. They, so they cannot intervene there. It's true. I, I figured in my effort is this. Number one, you do, you do with the small, you do with the direct. I mean, literally, when, when the wave hit, I went directly and worked in Patong Hospital as a, as a volunteer. I went out with uh, Brad Kenny and uh, Larry Amson from the, the Patong uh, Rotary. We collected shoes, we collected shirts, we went into the hospitals, we physically gave these to the people. We found people that lost passports, their money, all in the lock boxes, in the hotels that were just wide open. So we yeah. went down and we literally went through rubble to help open up these lock boxes and find where they were. And that was my personal thing. But um, 
and then you, you, you do as much as you can on the small scale, and then when you find yourself available for the large scale, you do what you can. There were so many, I mean, it was such a havoc at the time. I mean, search and rescue. Uh, it was amazing. Even you would reach in your pockets, grab what you had, give it to people that needed whatever they needed. I know, I was around as well. At the end of the day, yeah. And so you got involved in this blues festival because you happened to be in Phuket. You're, you're, you I, yeah, I've been back three days. Yeah, exactly. And they, they caught you. They knew that you were around they, and they said... They contacted Thanks a lot, man. You put the show on, mate. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, you're on your own. You did... Hey, we did it. We were a team. We Take appreciate care. it. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. No, you know the thing is, is that um, they... What, the reason I did this, and I did this totally just right from the start, there's, you know, there was no gratis, no famine, no nothing. I believe that what's important now is We've got to, we don't need to relive the past. We need to work towards the future. So I figured this is such a positive event for the future. This is the first annual Phuket Blues Festival, the first one. And with that, there's going to be more. I mean, I've got to sing with Tom Jones, Little Richard, Jerry Lee Lewis. I'm going to maybe put something together that brings the rock and roller and boogie woogie guys back. Cool. But the thing is, it's just make people enjoy life. Enjoy, breathe fresh air, smell the roses. Life is short, life is precious. And music is such an international language. Music is, I mean, it's, it's the heart and soul of every one of us. No matter if we can play or we can hear, it's everything. It Fantastic. means the world. And the Blues Festival is just, I think it's just the start. We're going to do so much more. Phuket Gazette is incredible. I just love those guys. I love John McGee. I love Alistar. Those guys have done so much for the community. We can't forget them. They're, they're crucial. Yourself doing what you... It takes every little link to make this thing come together. Brilliant. Listen, we'll end on that note. Yeah. And we'll talk again later My soon. My pleasure. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, yeah.